In this session, we are going to configure PyCharm and write a Hello World program. By default, we see I have a dark color scheme. I will show you how to change the color if you want to change the color. Click New Project. The base interpreter shows python39.exe. That's important. Recall from installing Python, the location changed when we customize the location. If you have a different base interpreter, you can select it by clicking the drop down or by selecting previously configured interpreter. Click the three dots, ellipsis. Then select system interpreter and select the correct interpreter. I'm going to click cancel since I already have the right interpreter. Make sure this checkbox is unchecked. Welcome script. Create a main.py welcome script. It's unchecked because we are going to write our own script. Select the radio button, new environment using virtual environment. Then click create. At this point, we'll send the virtual environment create. And when it finishes loading, then we're going to go ahead and create our first program. We create the first program by right-clicking Python project. New Python file. The name will be first underscore program. Then hit enter. Now, we can start by writing print, double quotes, hello world. Let's also add Python programming tutorials. We can run this program different ways. We can right click and select run program. We can also click run from the menu and select run. Also, we see a shortcut that says Alt Shift F10. There's also a shortcut when we right click and we see Control Shift F10. Right now, the play button is disabled, but when it's green, we can also run by selecting the button or the shortcut Shift F10. For now, let's go ahead and hit Run First Program. And in the console, we see it shows Hello World hyphen Python programming tutorials. Configure PyCharm some more by going to File Settings. This appearance is where we change the theme for the entire project. However, I only want to change the theme for the editor and the console. So I don't change it here, but we see Darkula is the default in the dropdown. We also see IntelliJ Lite, Windows 10 Lite, Darkula, and High Contrast. I prefer High Contrast. Go to Editor, General, and this checkbox, change font size with Control plus mouse, Wheel. This option lets us adjust the font with the mouse. To permanently adjust the font, we go to font. Then change 13 to 16 or any size you choose. And one more thing I want to show you. I want to show you the color scheme where I normally change the theme from darker to high contrast. I said one more thing, but know what? This is one more thing I want to show you. I like to change the indent. So to change the indent, I go to the drop down for code style, then Python. And I like to change it from four to two. So when I tab, it don't go as far across. And that's it. So now I'm going to click apply. And we already see it kind of changing right here in the preview. And I'm going to click OK. And in the console and editor, it has increased the font and the theme has changed to high contrast. Here's the font. It changed to 16. 
in the editor and console, and we see the high contrast theme. If you want more information about configuring PyCharm, you can go to jetbrains.com forward slash help forward slash PyCharm forward slash configuring hyphen project hyphen and hyphen IDE hyphen settings dot HTML. That's it for configuring PyCharm and writing our first program. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session where I'll show you how to create and name variables. <laughs> All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.